Um, in this lesson, we are starting with the posts. But before that, let's go into layouts and click on here. So layouts. So on this page, um, down the right side, let's click understanding yield. So this is where all our views are inserted into. So we have layouts, applications as HTML, and everything goes in here. Okay, so is all the views are put into this section here. Now, there's a slight problem with that. Because we have the front end of our blog, which is one layout, and then we have the back end of the blog, which is a different layout. So we need two layouts, not just one. So what we can do is right click on layouts and create a new layout. So I'll call this layout admin .html.erb. And it's exactly the same as this layout here. So if we select everything and copy and paste it over here and save, now we can go back into applications and remove the logout for now. So we don't need this. I'll leave this flash messages here because we need that for the front end. Uh, so now that we have our admin, we need a way of using it. So if we go into our admins application controller, open up the whole wide world app application controller here. So this application controller is extending the app wide application controller. Okay, what I want to do is copy the application base from our application wide application controller and paste it here. Okay, so both of them now extend the same base. Also copy the security measure protect from forgery and put it in our admin application controller. Okay, so now that's what we've done. We don't need this anymore, and this is fine. So there's a method called layout, and we can give it a layout, in this case, admin. So now we expect that this page is using our admin layout. So that's this here. If we come in here, our admin layout, and we say logout test, refresh, and then come here, reset the page, we can see it changes here to logout test. So we are using the admin page. Okay, by default, it uses the application um, layout. Okay, so this is this is done. So let's go and generate a controller for our posts. Res generate controller. So this post is going to use every method. So the seven different methods you use in a, a controller uh, for RESTful. Um, communication. So we have index, edit, brings up our edit form and it sends it to update to work. We have destroy. So those are the methods that we need. So that's what we have there. Now we'll do a bit of a, um, if we go into tab, uh, command and controller, space, posts. So these are the methods um, that we have. We have to make sure that we always extend admin's application controller. Otherwise, we are not going to have password protection and um, protected system. So this is a generated code, which we don't need. We delete that and we recreate our resource neatly in here. So there's no need for specifying only because we're using all the different seven methods that we can use. All right, so we have all this cleaning up to do. So there is no create view, there is no destroy view, uh, there is no there is no update view. So that's the last one. All right, so we have index is the first one that we're going to work on. Um, so we can leave leave this as it is here, and if we clear this and come over here. We can type posts and it gives us the posts um, content. And if we log out of the system and manually try to navigate to posts, it redirects us back to login page, which proves that our post is behind an authentication. And if we try to log in into the system, um, I've typed the password incorrectly. So if I try it again and log in, 
example and now we're logged in and if we go to the post page and the post page is um, now visible to us um, we haven't quite done enough to um, cover this section so we are going to work on this in the next lesson so that's all we have to do for the groundwork to get going so we have several methods here to do different things um, I'll see you in the next lesson.